We will explore what binding energy is in this video lesson, but first I want to ask you this question. How can a nucleus stay intact if the protons are repelling each other? Well, we know that there is the electromagnetic force, which is a repulsive force between particles with the same charge. And this is why a proton next to another proton will repel each other. So to keep the nucleus from flying apart, there must be a force that pushes the protons and neutrons together. This force is known as the strong nuclear force. And now that we realize the existence of the strong nuclear force, let's do a thought experiment on this. Hypothetically, you are asked to take this nucleus apart. To pull the nucleons apart, work must be done on the system. The amount of energy that is required to dismantle a nucleus into its constituent protons and neutrons is known as the binding energy. You can also think of the binding energy as being equivalent to the energy that would be liberated when combining individual protons and neutrons into a single nucleus. But there are times when it might be more useful to speak in terms of the binding energy per nucleon instead of just the binding energy. To work out the binding energy per nucleon, you just have to divide the binding energy by the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. For example, the binding energy of a helium nucleus is 28.3 mega electron volts. And you know that a helium nucleus contains two protons and two neutrons. Let's divide 28.3 mega electron volts by four nucleons, which gives the helium nucleus a binding energy per nucleon of 7.1 mega electron volts. So now we have defined both the binding energy and binding energy per nucleon.